Welcome to the pre-show of Our Shark Week on Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review The Shallows. What was once in the deep is now in the shallow. Directed by Hame Colette Sarah and starring Blake Lively, The Shallows is about Nancy who travels down to Mexico to go surfing. Unfortunately, she gets attacked by a shark and she is forced to fend for herself while Shore is just 200 yards away. So what do we like? Blake Lively plays Nancy and she's kind of stranded for most of this movie by herself. There's some side characters, but for the most part, it's just her on a rock. She has a really good way of dealing with the situation as far as her character is concerned because she gets attacked by a shark. She's stranded. She's starving. She's thirsty. She's on a rock getting pelted by waves of salt water so her lips start to dry out. And the way that she kind of like plays up her injuries was great. I thought she did a fantastic job. They established that she's in med school, so everything that she's doing is believable. Now to bring this film all together, the cinematography was absolutely stunning. And the underwater filming is so crisp and clear that you actually feel like you're submerged in this water. And just the shot types, the angles, how long the shots were on, it created tension, it built up for great moments, and this is just some of the best cinematography I've seen in a long time in a film. And they did a great job telling a story through the camera. And it was nice because they use a couple tonal shifts throughout the film. Like at the beginning, we have bright, vibrant colors and a lot of aerial drone shots and slow motion as Nancy is just out there enjoying herself, having fun, just her in the waves. Once the shark comes into play, everything gets a little bit more gritty and grimy and then you don't really see those vibrant colors again. And there's a really interesting shot that they decided to do with some jellyfish towards the end of the film which just looked amazing. It's something straight out of Avatar. And exactly how it was shot in the sense of the close-up, it makes the audience member feel for what's going on and it makes them a little more uncomfortable which puts them on the edge of their seat more. The tension in this movie was built very well because it's open water. You don't know where the shark is. You don't know when it's going to pop out and there are some genuine scares with the shark which were all fantastic and definitely caught me off guard. This shark is probably one of the most badass sharks I've ever seen in my life. It's a real G here. He's just slamming into everything, just trying to eat Nancy. This was a big, practical, realistic looking shark. There are some CG elements towards the end of the film, but in both situations, the shark looked really, really good and probably one of the best practical sharks that I've ever seen. Now let's move on to our dislikes. Though I felt this film had a really strong story and the development of Nancy's character and the struggles that she was going through to survive was well portrayed. There are certain aspects of this story with the struggle of her surviving to eat and to drink were not well portrayed. We didn't actually feel for her when she was hungry, we didn't feel for her when she was thirsty. It just kind of pushed that aspect aside, which I find odd for a film that is based around her struggling to survive. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. The Shallows is one of the best shark movies that I've seen since Bait 3D and previous to that, Jaws. This was an absolutely stunning film. It was well done when it came to the tension and building up Nancy's character. And Nancy, played by Blake Lively, did an absolutely stellar job. So I'm gonna give this five Steven Seagulls out of five. The Shallows is definitely one of the best shark movies to come out in recent years. You have a really excellent story being told that's building tension and you're seeing the struggle of a character trying to survive that's in the middle of open water. There's a few things I would have preferred to see with the struggle of Nancy's character, but overall, this is an excellent shark film. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this four and a half buoys out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, and if you like shark movies, and you might if you're watching this review, well, we've got a whole week of shark movie reviews starting tomorrow because it's shark week. We've got a brand new review every day for the next eight days. It's painful sometimes, it's glorious other times, but mostly painful. I think you're probably going to enjoy this week because y'all tend to enjoy our Film Cynics reviews. <laughs> so come back tomorrow for another shark movie review, and then the next day, 
and the next day, and so on till next Sunday. Happy Shark Week, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to get those notifications when those things come swimming at you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. That, I, I tried something really cool. Not so cool. <laughs>